bismillah rahman rahim in this session we will discuss uh, uh, test yourself uh, problems of uh, page 108 uh, under uh, from the topic uh, thermal properties and temperature under the igcac and o level physics and uh, here we have this uh, question of 6 which of the following statement is not true this uh, statement is a uh, temperature tells us how hot an object is yes it is true that because the temperature tells us the object hotness when the temperature of an object rises so does its internal energy whenever the temperature of an object rises its internal energy also increases so this is statement b is also correct uh, c the energy flows uh, naturally from an object at a lower temperature to one at a higher temperature no the energy always flow from higher temperature to the lower temperature according to the thermodynamics laws so statement c is incorrect which is here but d the particle of an object move faster when its temperature rises yes it is correct so statement c is incorrect how much in thermal energy is needed to raise the temperature by 10 degrees celsius of 5 kilogram of a substance of a specific uh, cap heat capacity uh, 300 joules per kilogram per celsius so we have uh, to find the energy thermal energy needed so we have to find this delta e which so that the theta the temperature rise is uh, 10 degrees celsius mass is 5 kg and this c specific uh, heat of uh, uh, the substance is uh, is 300 joules per kilogram per celsius so energy is equal to mc delta theta 5 kilogram mass uh, c is uh, 300 joules per kilogram per celsius and this uh, delta theta is basically 10 degree celsius on multiplying the celsius will cancel out with this kilogram will cancel out this so joules will be there and on multiplying these numbers we have this 15,000 joules this is this much energy will be required so question number eight how long will it take a three kilowatt immersion heater to raise the temperature of five kilogram water from 330 celsius to 50 celsius so we have to uh, give the input from the heater to the water so heater will uh, transfer a heat transfer its heat to the water so it will lose energy and the water will gain energy so so this uh, p is 3 kilowatt 3000 watt is equal to 3000 joules per second mass is uh, 500 uh, kg and the temperature difference is 30 50 so 20 degree celsius celsius uh, c specific heat of water is 4200 joules per kilogram celsius so p and t is equal to this is the input energy by the heater to the water so water energy mc delta theta so t is equal to mc delta theta upon p m is 5 kg c is 42 joules per kilogram per celsius theta is 20 degree c and this p is 3000 joules per second and uh, this joules will cancel out this kilogram celsius so this second will be here and on simplification we have this 140 seconds that is 2 minutes and 20 seconds so this will take the heater 3 kilowatt heater will take 2 minutes and 20 seconds to raise the temperature of half kilogram 5 kilogram of water from 30 celsius to 50 degrees celsius uh, test yourself page 111 and uh, here we have some temperature and we have to uh, fit these temperatures to some of this uh, uh, events the melting temperature of iron that is 1530 very high and uh, the temperature of the room that is comfortably warm that is uh, 19 here in this case 19 is the most suitable one most appropriate uh, the melting temperature of a pure ice uh, pure uh, ice starts melting at 0 degree celsius and uh, the boiling temperature of the water pure water is 100 degree celsius and uh, the normal body temperature is 37 degrees celsius and why is ice good for cooling uh, drinks because it contains heat, latent heat of fusion so it without uh, increasing delta t uh, or uh, temperature rise it gives uh, uh, latent heat of fusion and cool down the uh, 
uh, liquid so ice is good for cooling drinks and why do engineers often use superheated steam to transfer heat because superheated steam contain latent heat of vaporization so it transfer heat without losing temperature so temperature will not change and uh, the heat will be transferred uh, when liquid uh, when a solid is melting does the temperature increase or decrease or remains constant it will remain constant uh, we have seen for this cooling curve the energy absorbed or release or neither the energy absorbed yes energy absorbed uh, this is uh, latent heat of uh, fusion and does the kinetic energy of a particle increase or decrease or remains constant uh, when temperature is uh, remains constant then uh, potential energy will increase increase the potential energy of the particle but not their kinetic energy every time it will remain same therefore the kinetic energy remains constant this is the cooling curve this temperature will keep here it, it is melting here it is cooling temperature rise in this region uh, temperature is constant for this time duration when a liquid is boiling uh, does the temperature increases decreases or remains constant uh, when the temperature starts boiling then it's uh, temperature remains constant does that potential energy of a particle increase or decrease or remains constant potential energy increases but not their kinetic energy uh, describe the process of evaporation in a particle terms a few energetic particles close to the surface of the liquid may escape and become chaos particles in a liquid container the some high energy particles will escape from the liquid or surface and uh, this process is called evaporation and it occurs at all temperatures at all temperatures what does uh, the temperature of a liquid changes during evaporation in evaporation the energy is transferred to the liquid from its surrounding so the temperature of the remaining body becomes low so the when evaporation occurs from a liquid and the average kinetic energy of the remaining particle decreases and the liquid uh, cools down some water is stored in a bag of porous material such as a canvas which is hang and it is exposed to a drought uh, drought of uh, air explain why the temperature of the water is lower than that of air when the evaporation occurs from a liquid the average kinetic energy of the remaining particles decreases so some of the high energy particles will uh, escape from the liquid and it gives a cooling effect a wind of drought is in, in blower over the surface carrying vapor particles away from the surface thus stopping them from returning to the liquid and make it easier for more liquid particles to break free this is uh, uh, this phenomenon is used in uh, uh, room coolers so the energy transfer to the surrounding air and therefore the water remains uh, lower than the air so the temperature of the uh, liquid will be at lower 